Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum semua uh, Today I will proceed with a briefing of our assignment for equal to O Okay, as I mentioned before in the uh, previous briefing on course information I have mentioned that uh, the assignment will comprise of uh, 40% of your uh, course information Okay, so here for equal to O, we don't have additional quizzes and whatsoever. We just have uh, online test for twenty percent, video presentation for twenty percent, and written report for twenty percent. So this is the part for your assignment: video presentation and written report. You are supposed to produce a written report, and then you need to present the written report as a video and presentation. Okay, so in detail, uh, this is the briefing for this assignment. Alright, so the instruction first, each group consisting of five members, five or six members are required to write a report and make a video presentation regarding topic 9 and 10. Okay, as I mentioned before, uh, I have done, uh, I have compiled all the uh, introduction video of your friends and you can see at your future as I'm uh, paste the link in the group whatsapp before this okay get to know of your friends and uh, choose which one will be your group members please make sure you choose wisely and make sure you avoid those friends uh, that is uh, known as a free riders so hopefully we don't have any issue with free riders I've mentioned numerous time how free riders will uh, make it difficult for all the group members so if for example you end up with having a free riders also okay you can just inform your lecturer and think of a solution and for me uh, I would like to give a zero for the free riders and for class A and B you can discuss with uh, Ms. Nur Azwani whatever measurement is possible for the free riders and uh, free writers is uh, something that we don't want to have uh, this semester so hopefully nobody will become a free writers enough with that I have mentioned uh, here so make sure you choose your group members wisely and forward the name uh, of the list uh, to your group uh, to your respective lecturer group C to me group A and B to Miss Aswani anyhow um, in terms of the format of the written report, the numbers of pages is within 8 to 15 pages. So make sure you do that thing within 15 pages only. Sometimes, um, currently you might thinking you might be thinking 15 pages is too much. But for your information, our assignment is fully googling google for your assignment so you can get the information from the google and sometimes the information is overloaded if you fail to extract the information you will end up with having more than 15 pages which is very bad lah in terms of the pages if you exceed the pages or less than the pages required the marks will be deducted so make sure the assignment is not the outcome of copy and paste because before this okay most of the students just go towards the Google and copy and paste every information and be careful you are at the university level if uh, we do the plagiarism check of course you need to do the plagiarism plagiarism check before you submit the assignment if it's more than 30% you need to redo your assignment if you don't you will have a zero mark also meaning that the assignment is not originally yours production you are plagiarizing everything okay so be extra careful with that so i'm expecting a group of five to six members should have sufficient manpower to produce a good assignment although i know you are at your own home some of you are in the campus still you can produce a good teamwork by dividing the work effectively between each members and by discussing the group assignment together not just doing individually and just combined the outcome is very bad also okay so the font is area 11 the spacing is 1.5 and justified what does it mean by justified meaning that you must 
uh, make sure the paragraph is uh, the same side uh, kiri dan kanan dia tu uh, kejap eh, I will show you an example ok, this is what it, what is mean by justify the the paragraph sama, yang ni tak yang ni tak justify ha ni, tengok paragraph dia lari uh, so you need to submit in pdf of the words alright, so going back with the assignment here it is mentioned that uh, the content of the assignment we gave you marks here so make sure you follow the instruction uh, follow the requirement of the assignment so that you will be able to get a total of 30 marks for the assignment all right um, first of all um, topic 9 and 10 what are topic 9 and 10 let's go with the course outline so topic 9 and 10 is a topic related to the economics problem which is inflation and unemployment inflasi dan juga kadar pengangguran so this is the particular topic you need to focus for your assignment and another one is public policy so the policy that the government will use to solve the problem of unemployment and inflation and for your information this particular topic inflation and employment is under the subtopic of my macroeconomics so as I mentioned before in my previous video when I'm explaining topic one your code principle of economic comprises of two fields which is macro and micro okay microeconomics is a specific bodies that studies about economics while macroeconomics is an economic issue regarding the whole as a country wise so what are the topics related to macro macro start from topic 7 onwards that's so 7 8 9 10 11 while topic micro adalah topik yang bermula daripada topik 1 until topik 6 ok so in order for you to understand topic macroeconomics you need to understand what are the objective of uh, macroeconomics first ok that's why even though the assignment only co uh, covers topic 9 and 10 but I need to explain first about topic 7 before you can understand fully what are the meaning of topic 9th and topic 10 okay so macroeconomic objective are the objective of a country matlamat is born negara they have five objective okay and the first one is full employment so full employment ni kadar uh, menunjukkan uh, kadar pengangguran ataupun penggunaan sumber sesebuah negara tu digunakan dengan sebaik mungkin so if we have the problem are able to fulfill full employment the outcome we will have the problem of unemployment so inilah yang kita nak cerita next is the second objective is price stability memastikan harga stabil but if the country unable to fulfill the objective of price stability the country will be having a problem of inflation inflasi okay so this is the two main problem that you need to explain in your assignment Okay, so you need to choose a uh, no 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 you you don't need to choose a specific country. I will assign the country to you for class A and B. Miss Azwani will assign the country to you. Okay, and why do we assign the country? Not uh, uh, enabling you to choose the country because previously your senior have done the same assignment and some of you might go to the extent of copy paste the assignment of your seniors. So we won't give you the option to copy and paste. We would like to have an originality of your own produced assignment. That's why we will give you the country. Okay, so ask your lecturer later about the country assigned to you so that you can proceed with finding information. And for your information, this assignment is a long process. That's why I do the briefing in week 2. I skip topic 2 after I finish topic 1 hopefully you already understand topic 1 if you still haven't understand topic 1 meaning that you haven't done the exercise so you need to consult with your respective lecturer okay regarding topic 1 if you have any question like I mentioned before in the teaching video please do ask your lecturer okay so that we can do a consultation and answer your uh, anything any 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 question regarding the particular topic all right so hopefully you are trying you have tried the multiple choice question and structure question for topic one to see your level of understanding either you can understand topic one or two 
one or not okay so here after week one we have finished topic one we are coming now for this coming week which is week two i will teach you macroeconomic objective i'll start with unemployment then i'll go with inflation and then i'll go with the uh policies uh, so uh, after we have identified the problem in the country you need to identify the policy that the government of the country used in order to solve the problem okay so be careful not to identify the uh, suggested policy but you are you need to identify the actual policy i'll go in detail afterwards okay so hopefully you are clear with the topic and the best part is because topic 9 and 10 already covered in your assignment it won't come out in your midterm and won't come out in your final alhamdulillah lah meaning that berkurang lah topik yang you nak cover for the uh, for the test and for the final but for topic 7 of course it will come out in your final because topic 7 is not the coverage for the assignment just that you need to learn topic 7 first before you can understand fully topic 9 and 10 okay why topic 10 dulu baru topic 9 because topic 10 is the problem topic 9 is the policy to solve the problem so i'll start with the problem first so that you can understand what types of problem the country have and get the sufficient information needed for the assignment okay meanwhile for topic six uh, topic seven the other objective i will also explain here after i finish explaining about inflation and employment and also the policy i will proceed explaining about economic growth equitable income distribution and equilibrium international trade in order for you to understand the coverage what will be asked in the final and for your information the question asked regarding topic seven is more on a multiple choice question so you need to fully understand about this particular topic in order for you to answer the abc question okay next is let's look at the uh, content of the assignment first you should have introduction okay uh, in terms of the introduction you need to explain briefly the purpose of the report so in your own wording make sure you explain what are the purpose you do the report okay uh, i won't give you an a sample of the assignment why because be if i give you the sample of the assignment before this previously in previous semester i give you the sample this is the sample the thing is students start to copy and paste and fail to produce their own originality uh, so i have the the thing that you need to put in the assignment what should you do is you should explain in your own words okay this is university level as i mentioned before you need to have your originality in terms of the assignment earn your grade okay and avoid copy and paste outcome you need to discuss together with your group members and produce a good outcome for the assignment in order to secure a good marks for your assignment and secure a good grade for the whole okay uh, next is you should you will have um, the concept of inflation and unemployment so when student we ask student to do the concept of inflation and employment normally what student put in the assignment just an outcome of copy paste of the notes or google it is very wrong don't do that so what should you do here you need to put the definition of inflation and unemployment from your own perspective after you have done your reading what is the finding that you have regarding the inflation and employment meaning related to the country assigned to you okay hopefully it's clear so what happened if you put the outcome of copy and paste you will have less mark maybe no mark at all so i would like to say effort here in terms of next okay for the for the introduction the marks is three marks so maybe kalau you copy and paste kita bagi satu je kot uh, tengok lah depending on the level of copy and paste tu okay so next is uh you go for the background the background of the country we will give you three marks there so what should you have in the background of the country first of all in terms of the population second is in terms of the national income third one is in terms of the main sector contributors and the last one is about the national debt 
For your information, all information regarding this thing should be the latest. So here is 2022 on April. So supposedly, you are able to provide the latest information about the particular uh, item that needed for the country. So let's look at this sample. Okay, so this is the sample. Alright, so uh, here, the cover page. Alright, so for the cover page, I give you the cover page in this uh, assignment outline. So last page is the cover page. Please do not change the cover page. You need to follow the cover page. Just include which country here. And in terms of the name of the student, make sure you write down the name, the student number and also the classes. Because we have the combination of AA and AB, right? So make sure you write specifically which class, AA ke AB. Kalau every single one of you from AA, just write all AA. Don't You don't need to exclude this thing, you need to put this. Prepare for Madam, nama saya lah. And if you are from class A and B, make sure you write down Mad, uh, Miss Nur, Nur Azwani names here. So please make sure the spelling correct or else you can hilang marka. In terms of submission date, I already mentioned in the planner when I brief about the planner. Here we have mentioned that the submission date is on week 10 for the written report on 16th of June. And for the submission of radio is on 30th of June on during week 12. Okay, so observe the time frame for the submission. We will explain later how to submit the assignment. So make sure you don't do my pantang, you submit on time. Okay, so this is the cover page. Alright, looking back at the students punya ni, they have the table of content. So do better with the table of content. Uh, so uh, in terms of editing. Why? Because if you look here, we have the marks for uh, structure, overall report formatting, including the cover pages, the reference, and etc. If, for example, you don't follow the requirement, the requirement we need uh, you to use the font Arial size 11. You use Times New Roman size 12. We will deduct your mark. And number of pages lebih will deduct mark also. And you don't justify also deduct mark. And the spacing supposedly 1.5, you do 2 or 1, also will deduct mark. So be careful. Ni marka ada ni. So in terms of presentation, the use of font, diagram and the use of space and etc. Should be edited carefully. Okay. So here... They have the cover page, the table, uh, cover page, table of content, and then in terms of the introduction, I can see here the student give the purpose of doing the assignment. They give the definition of inflation in their own perspective and the definition of unemployment in their own perspective. The full mark is three, but I give only two point five because there is still mistake there. I'm not expecting a full mistake free, but I would like to see effort. Okay, next going to the background of Turkey. Okay, so four things needed there. Population, sorry, because the student was asked to do about Turkey. That's why they tulis background of Turkey here. Population, national income, main sector contributors and national debt. So this should have the latest information about this thing. So what did the student do before? They compare 2019 to 2020. So, because this assignment is during uh, 2020, that's why they pakai 2020. So, you now in 2022. If you are able to find the latest information, would be better. Tapi kalau tak ada juga, at least 2021 punya data. So, they compare dari segi male population and female population also. And the diagram should be labeled uh, carefully. So, bila dia pakai diagram 1 kat sini, next diagram will be diagram 2. Uh, bukan tiba-tiba, kat bawah ni ada figure 2. Uh, tak ada tally kan, menunjukkan your poor editing. So, be careful with that. Okay, so an, a diagram without explanation is nothing. So, make sure when you put a diagram, you put the explanation. And avoid copy and paste in order to avoid plagiarism yang tinggi. So try to explain in your own words. Tak panjang pun explanation dia. Because the mark is only 3 pun. 
Okay, in terms of national income pendapatan negara. So, dia cari information, dia dapat comparison 3 years. So, dia nak menunjukkan bahawa Turki ni, pendapatan negara makin lama makin berkurang. So, dia cerita, why have this happening in Turkey? And then, in terms of main sector contributor, we would like to see sektor apa yang paling banyak menyumbang kepada pendapatan Turki. So, you know here from the diagram, as uh, you... Um, as informed by this group, they don't found any diagram related to this. So, they cuma jumpa figure, what did they do? They converted using the Excel. Simple things. Jangan kata you tak faham, you kena cuba effort yang menyebabkan you dapat markah lebih. So, they convert macam ni jadi lagi mudah kita nak tengok lah. So, the main sector contributor adalah service sector. Sektor terbesar di Turki adalah service Okay, so dia bagi contoh-contoh what are the service sectors in Turkey and followed by agriculture. Eh, agriculture the last one. Services yang second one. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Industry is the second one. So, you boleh bagi sample lah what types of industry. Tapi jangan panjang sangat because your mark is only three marks that. And in terms of national debt, nampak tak? Uh, continuation between this student again. They start tiga tahun. They compare tiga tahun, tiga tahun, tiga tahun. So, nampak lah the effort there. Okay, hutang negara Turki yang latest berapa? Ha, so, we would like to see what are the debt level, level of the country. But please make sure in terms of your writing, you recheck, double check. Uh, Turkey in the list of debt of GDP is in the number 46. 46 apa? 46 compared to the entire country in the world ke? Macam mana? Uh, okay, so because ada flaws juga, so kita tolak markah lagi, supposedly tiga markah. And next is, you need to explain uh, the main discussion which is the overview of the problems of inflation and unemployment of the country. Uh, so, if for example, I give you Malaysia again, you can cerita lah. Uh, what is the problem, of, uh, what are uh, the overview, the problem of inflation? In Malaysia. So, cerita satu-satu. Mula-mula cerita inflation dulu. Lepas baru cerita unemployment. Jangan mix up all everything together. It will be very confusing. You akan kehilangan markah. Okay. So, we would like to see the trend of inflation in the past 10 years. Okay. So, tolaklah. 2022 tolak lagi. You are supposed to start from 2000 berapa untuk dapatkan 10 years. Okay. So, this is 2002 lah kan? Ke 2012? 2012 aku kan? Ah, 2012. Sampailah 2022, 10 years. Oh, maybe you boleh delay sikit lagi. 2011 until 2020. Sebab kita tak ada information 2021. As long as you are try, you try to find the latest information. Oh, sorry, sorry. Saya tukar. Macam ni, kalau you tengok kat sini, dia ada impact of coronavirus pandemic. Coronavirus, even though nama dia COVID-19, tapi dia at the end of 2019. That's why, if in order for you to explain about COVID-19, you should start uh, starting 2020. 2020, 2021. Sebab 2022, sekarang baru bulan 4. Tak ada data lagi lah. Data berkurang. So, here... For the overview of problem of inflation and employment ni, skip. Jangan masukkan 2020-2021. Why? Sebab kalau tak, you akan redundant. Kat sini dah ada, kat sini pun dah ada, ada lagi. Okay? So, berapa eh? Uh, 2019 lah. So, start daripada tahun uh, 2011. Bukan. 2009. Hmm. You are supposed to start from 2009 Sampailah 2019 We need to find trend uh, So trend tu macam mana? Cuma contoh ni uh, Student ni dia bagi 15 tahun Start 2005 So dia ada setiap tahun punya graph Student ni inform saya Dia tak dapat dalam bentuk bar chart macam ni Dia dapat dalam bentuk table So Effort dia, dia tukar dalam bentuk bar chart. And dia highlight tahun yang paling tinggi inflation. Which is very good, effort wise. That's why dia dapat makan tinggi untuk written report dia. Okay, so you should do that also. 
Okay, so continuation ni, ni diagram 4, ni diagram 5, nampak tak? Ha, dia punya level of continuation ni, diagram 6, nampak tak? Editing dia bagus. Okay, so you need to find at least 10 years starting from 2009 until 2019 ataupun 2008 lah. Ha, so next says you need to explain what are the causes of inflation. Okay, causes of inflation tu related to the uh, the year with the highest inflation rate lah. Tak perlu cerita semua-semua. Kalau tak panjang, gila assignment awak kan. We have limitation of 15 pages only. That's why uh, 15 pages tu isi saja. Tak masuk cover page, table of content dan juga reference. So, kalau, kalau masuk cover page, table of content and reference, it's up to 18 pages. So, here, make sure you extract the information. So, you tak perlu cerita dah balik kita dah nampak dalam diagram berapa persen, berapa persen. You just go straight with the highest rate. So, the highest rate, uh, according to the diagram shown in the guide, the highest rate of inflation in 14 years in Turkey uh, is in 2018, which was recorded by as 16.33% according to the World Data Bank, World Bank Data. Uh, so, nampak tak? Dia bagi tahu kat mana dia dapat. So, afterwards, I will give you the instruction of how to find data. No worries. Okay? Ni effort je. Whether you nak cuba ataupun tidak. Okay? So, dia bagi reason. You need to have the reason that what happened. Lepas tu, Google balik in 2018 in Turkey, what is happening there? Kenapa the inflation rate is too high there? Hmm. Next, barulah you cerita. In 2018, what are the policy taken by the government to solve the problem? So, we have three types of policy. Physical policy, monetary policy and direct policy. So, you need to find information regarding the policy and put the policy. Be careful not to put the recommended policy but you must put the actual policy because it is in the past, already berlaku dah. Bukan sekarang, already berlaku. So, you kena cari policy apakah yang kerajaan Turki dah ambil Okay, ataupun ke negara yang saya assign for you lah untuk menyelesaikan masalah high inflation rate during 2018 tersebut. Okay, so I'm hoping that you will listen carefully to this assignment briefing so that you have all the juice needed in order for you to get better marks for the assignment. Next is after you have done that, let's go with the unemployment plot. Ah, nampak tak trend ini? Dia pakai yang sama. Okay, avoid 2020-2021 because we tak nak information yang sama untuk coronavirus tu. Okay. And the same thing goes there. You identify which year is the highest and you explain what are the causes there and the actual policy taken by the government. Okay. So, for that, uh, the mark is uh, 2.5 marks for the trend and reason 2.5 marks for both reason. Hmm. So, kat situ 5 markah dah. And in terms of the policy pun, 2.5 marks. Okay, be careful lah. Kita bagi-bagilah. Maksudnya, policy ni untuk dua-dua. Both inflation and employment. So, kalau you ada policy untuk inflation je, employment tak ada, kita tolak lah separuh makan tak ada. Uh, okay. So, money, sorry, sorry. Nampak kat sini, monetary and fiscal policy, ini untuk inflation, untuk unemployment. Maksudnya, 2.5 mark is each. Uh, policy is very important because normally, student unable to identify the policy needed. Okay. Next is the last part is the impact of coronavirus pandemic on the inflation and employment. So be careful. This you need to focus on the year 2020-2021. Okay. Look at the sample. What did the student do? Okay. Ha. Huh. Unemployment during coronavirus. Ha, ni. The impact of coronavirus pandemic on inflation and employment. First, they go for the inflation. But be careful. Kita tak nak yearly. Kalau yearly, you ada dua data je lah. 2020-2021, kita nak monthly data. Uh, so, you need to find all the monthly data of how much is the inflation rate fluctuated, uh, fluctuate lah naik turun due to the coronavirus. And then, you ada penceritaan kat situ. Tak perlu fokus mana yang highest, you just go for the overall. How did the pandemic affect the inflation rate of the country? Uh, kena ada penceritaan dia. And then, same goes with the unemployment. How did the pandemic affect the unemployment? You need to put the monthly rate so that we can see the trend in two years, in every month, what is happening uh, uh, to the unemployment due to the coronavirus. 
okay hopefully this is very clear for you and then last part is the impact of government stimulus package on national debt ah. so what should you put in this part you are supposed to explain the stimulus package maksudnya bila the pandemic in a country of course the people the population inside the country the people are having a trouble kan sangat kesusahan government tak boleh biarkan rakyat macam tu government akan bantu same goes with the Malaysia kita ada BPN bantuan prihatin rakyat and so on so what should you do is you need to investigate the country that I have assigned to you and find all the uh, stimulus package that the government have done for the country list down Okay, kalau ada banyak macam ni, uh, that's why it's good for the good group the kidneys, but dia banyak. And then, at the end of the day, you must mention what is happening to the current debt in 2020 ni. 2022. After the government has helped the people inside the country, bila bagi lagi banyak duit kan, uh, what happened to the hutang negara tu? Makin bertambah lah. Uh, so, we would like to see some sort of explanation regarding the debt of the country regarding to the stimulus package provided so list down the stimulus package this is for 2.5 marks next is a conclusion so for the conclusion we don't want you to put the same info as the main content the main content main discussion we like to see how you summarize so here the best conclusion is you need to summarize the issue of unemployment and unemployment and inflation in the country we have assigned to you and how far the country have managed to solve the problem so produce a good conclusion you will have a good mark there so 2.5 marks there so altogether the main discussion is 15 marks all right going for the conclusion conclusion is 3 marks and reference of course you should put your reference because kita tak nak lah you rekaan semata-mata get the student how many reference to refer so tak, tak ada lah nak buat APA style ke apa tak ada I just need to know which articles that you refers to in order for you to retrieve your information so uh, ini pun salah sebab dia tak ada uh, justify kan kiri kanan tak sama so make sure sampai reference and so together ha, nampak tak dia ada study in report 22% because uh, kita punya uh, benchmark is 30% so 22% okay selamat so i can see daripada mana dia ambil uh, the reference paling banyak refers to okay so to avoid plagiarism yang tinggi you need to try to replace and write in your own words instead of copy and paste dan you pun tak faham apa benda yang cerita uh, which is a very bad assignment lah kalau macam tu ok so please please don't do that or else you akan kehilangan banyak markah ada student kata madam saya score midterm saya score final what happened kenapa saya tak dapat A juga because your group assignment is not good that's why you need to help each other to produce a good group assignment so that you can secure an A some student group assignment sangat bagus midterm dia tak ok final dia score dapat A Oh, so ingat eh group assignment is 40% alright so we have done that I already mentioned everything there please follow the cover sheet and for the video presentation pula ok terus sekaligus je if you forgot about this boleh refer balik in front of all video assignment kita akan buat disclaimer nanti saya akan bagi ke awak disclaimer yang you kena letak the duration of the video 7 to 12 minutes only you cannot go beyond that ok nampak ni kalau tak compliant with the presentation standard guideline you akan dipotong markah kat sini ok so quality and quantity of information here kalau betul report you dalam dalam video you tak akan ada masalah untuk dapatkan 10 so make sure you consult with your lecturer that's why I mentioned that after we have done all the briefing regarding the assignment, we will do the consultation time by time. So this week, week 2, I will explain to you unemployment. So next time during the tutorial class, uh, minggu nanti you akan ikut tutorial class kan starting from uh, Selasa and onwards, okay, you need 
uh, to present the outcome of your assignment. So it depends on uh, your lecturer lah. Kalau kelas C bersama saya dengan kelas uh, AMB with Miss Azwani, just ask her what will he she do during the tutorial class either to uh, to discuss about the assignment or discuss about the um, past year's question. But for the topic. Minggu kedua dan minggu ketiga ni memang kita akan fokus kepada topik untuk assignment. So, tak ada pun soalan process question. For my class, I would like to see progress report lah. Progress presentation about what did you learn, what what are the information that you required after you have listened to my teaching video regarding the assignment. Okay. So, you must use microphone and provide English subtitle. Ni baru minggu kedua, I already told you we need microphone. Unless, kalau you memang very confident, your your voice is very clear from the beginning to the end of the video, you can proceed without microphone. But, as far as I know, if I, as far as I can see, most of the student, the, the voice projection is very unclear. So, we will deduct your mark. Uh, make sure, dekat sini ni, communication and presentation skills. So, okay, if you don't have sufficient volume projection for your voice, you will be deducted marks. So, microphone tak mahal. Even your earphone pun boleh bertindak sebagai microphone but do not pegang during the recording. Avoid that. No, 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 no. It's unprofessional. Okay. All conversation and subtitle are in English. So, you need to provide an English uh, English subtitle. And subtitle tu mesti seragam daripada semua presenter daripada awal sampai akhir. Font yang sama, colour yang sama, size yang sama. And kalau sebaris-baris belaka, kalau dua baris, dua baris belaka. Nanti saya bagi contoh, saya tunjuk contoh. Video must be clear, good quality. Kita dah tahun 2022. If you produce a 360p for me, I will deduct your mark. You takkan dapat separuh pun. Make sure it's 720p. At least high quality lah. All group members must appear and make presentation in the video. Ah, ini yang kita nak avoid student to be effortless in the video presentation. Nama pun video presentation. So, you must present in the video. And nama pun recording kan. Dia tak boleh sekali, uh, sekali record kira jadi. You must record to the perfection. And saya paling pantang student yang membaca, menghafal je. Tengok je screen ke depan, tak ada body language, tak ada effort. You will have very minimal marks. And bear in mind, seorang teruk, all group members akan dapat tempiasnya. So, make sure you work together and produce a good presentation. And all group members must appear, eh? bukan voice over sahaja. No watermark. Make sure any application that you use to edit your video, tak ada watermark. And you need to upload your video at YouTube. And make sure jangan private kan, buat unlisted tak apa. And we will give further information of how you should upload your video and the submission style. Okay, so I highlighted here the submission date. And for written report and written presentation. And effective communication and presentation skills of the presenter. Uh, yang inilah kita nak tengok continuation between one presenter to the second presenter and so on. So, we would like to see effort here. Make sure you try your best to discuss with your friends of what background to be used, what colour of clothing that you will use. Because that is all the mark for group work. Okay, participation and cooperation among group members. Okay, and I don't advise you to use all black for your clothing. And make sure the background of your your video is a proper background. Ada student dal rakam dalam bilik dengan baju bergantungan. Adakah itu level university student buat assignment? Which is very bad lah. Don't do that. Okay. So, I'll show you the sample. This uh, this is among the best assignment uh, video presentation that I have accounted with. Okay. So, this is the sample. Alright. So, uh, in terms of the time. Berapa lama ni? 12.59. So, lebih sikit. Sepatutnya kita up until 12 sahaja kan? Okay. 
Tak apalah nanti saya Alright So dia ada proper Semua pakai hitam ni Tak menarik lah Tolong jaga, uh, avoid using black eh Okay, should you explain everything in your reports during your video presentation? Yes. Okay, if you are able to uh, present everything within 12 minutes, you are the best. Okay, so basically you can do it within 12 minutes and saya minta semua orang make sure you buat script dahulu before you rakam to avoid wasting time. And bila you ada script, it will be easier for you to produce subtitle. As you can see, ya, dia ada pakai subtitle. Uh, untuk setiap presenter, dia pakai presenter subtitle sama. Nampak tak? Rupa dia warna putih, jenis subtitle, size pun sama. So, this is a very good editing for this group. Okay? But, ada isu sedikit. Bila masuk presenter seterusnya, dia cuma satu garis saja. Yang sebelum-sebelum tu, dua baris kan uh, dia punya subtitle. So, make sure you decide. So, I prefer yang macam ni sebab bila student bercakap and the government will continue to run a record deficit for some time. Diversification plans in tourism, airlines and shipping are also in doubt due to Nampak tak? Dia punya uh, apa? Bila dia bercakap tu subtitle tu keluar. Bukan subtitle tu pam keluar je kat situ. Nampak tak? Dia punya cantik lah in terms of the editing and if you can see the effort of this presenter is also very good nampak tak? dia yeah, bukan yeah, nampak baca je dia, dia yeah. hafal to produce a good presentation you need to be prepared uh, yang saya nak highlight kan dia the first presenter ni bukan tak ok cumanya because dia nak kejar due dia 12 minit kan dia very fast uh, so it's not good lah tak bertenang maksudnya Ah, okay, so this is all the interactive element of a presentation Bukan tunjuk slide and then baca je tak nak, tak nak Saya tak terima semua presentation yang tunjuk slide You ada kat tepi kecil, gambar kecil No, no, no For my presentation, no It's a big no, no So you are supposed to produce a an interactive presentation Jangan kata saya menyusahkan awak Our requirement for the course is only this Ah, so kita tak bagi awak quiz lain ke apa tak ada You need to focus on the assignment and read the presentation Okay so here nampak tak suara ni very slow kan Yang ni kuat sikit Tapi kalau you dengar yang pakai mic In adequately supply with goods In Brunei the government Nampak tak Bezanya Of course dia pakai mic yang mahal Saya tak suruh awak beli mic yang mahal tu No Tapi I would like to see effort in order for you to synchronize the voice projection of all presenter throughout the presentation. Dia sama je, sama, semua boleh dengar dengan clear. Bukan seorang clear, seorang tak clear. It will involve your mark. Okay, hopefully you are okay with that. The funding is increasing that increasing. I really love the effort of this presenter lah. Uh, so most of them are very very good lah. Dia tak nampak tau mata baca je is, Dia ada effort in terms of presenting ha, Ni lah nampak macam mata membaca je ha, Yang ni je lah So maka maybe ada affected because of this lah Even uh, tak stabil kan Gerak, gerak, gerak Wallah alam tak tahu kenapa ha, Okay So I think overall eh uh, Dalam all presenter ni This one is the lack The most lacking lah Okay uh, and I have a few more that I I love. Hi, Check my this name one. is Nor Faranisha binti Abu Halim. Hi, my name is Nor. They're within time frame, eleven fifty. Tak sampai lagi dua belas. Hi, my name is Nor Izzah binti Abu. Okay, nanti you boleh tengok eh. Kenapa saya suka presentation ni? Dia buat outdoor. Dia tak ada background screen, uh, green screen je. Dan dia tak ada bad noise tau Tak ada bunyi-bunyi bising kat belakang tu Dan nampak tak muka setiap presenter tu Walaupun dia pakai baju berbeza, berlainan kan Baju kurung semua Tapi kan Effort untuk menjadikan presentation tu Orang kata Kita tengok kita rasa macam bagusnya student ni Dia tak rasa tertekan ha, macam itu Kalau tak muka masam je kan ha. So for your information Awalnya dia hantar dulu student ni Untuk kita teng untuk saya tengok dulu And saya tegur some, some part Especially this student if I'm not mistaken 
dia punya part tu very reading tau dan sangat tak cantik and I ask them uh, to work together as a group members help your friend because it will affect your marks also and they have managed to produce a very very good presentation Alhamdulillah lah uh. Hi, my name is Shansi Okay, in campus ya semua dia buat ni So, dia ni semua dah uh, ke degree dah ni Okay, nampak pop-up diagram Tengah-tengah uh, berjalan tapi punyalah uh, apa stabil kan uh, in terms of the subtitle all all of them use the same font same size ah uh, tengah panas pun tak ada isu lah effort kan uh, so dia ada interview punya style kan effort wise i really applaud applaud this group ah kejap eh saya nak tunjuk ah ni dia Even depan kedai pun dia rakam tau uh, Although you memanglah malu kan Tapi dia membuahkan hasil At the end of the day you get good marks uh, Nampak tak diagram dia Diagram is very clear You can see by month Nampak tak nampak sikit kat sini Tapi tak apalah Sebab dalam report dah ada kan So hopefully they produce a better lah Much better Okay so this is also a very good one And you can see afterwards in your uh, on your own Okay, same goes here. This also a very good one. Uh, dia tak pakai green screen untuk letak gambar masjid ke apa ke. Tapi dia ada uh, same background of all. And the quality of the video is very nice. Uh, yang, ni, yang ni sebab saya suruh baiki, maybe dia ada masalah dari segi voice projection sebab tu voice dia lari so hopefully tak ada lagi lah isu tu kalau you buat awal you tak akan ada isu that ok so I think that's it lah kot if you have any issue any question regarding this don't hesitate to ask I won't give you the sample because I don't like you to copy and paste the sample I need you to try to produce your own your originally yours I will give the sample of the video only not the sample of the written report so please listen well to this uh, briefing I'm sorry because of the background noise uh, it's unavoidable so make sure you try your best for the assignment all the best everybody I'll see you when I see you Assalamualaikum